We can talk about solutions and practical action steps everybody could take to help raise your family's net worth, to put money in your pocket and find another way out of the ghetto. We going from hood to hood, ghetto to ghetto, all around the country, just empowering, pouring into and loving our people. Yo, ain't nothing out here we can't do. No excuses, just results. That's why I'm here in the corner. Let's talk about the how-to, what we do next. So, I'm gonna give you some how-to. For those who are really serious about it, this is my book, my third book, Lord of My Land, Five Steps to Home Ownership. I answered every question you have in your head right now about buying your first home, or second home, or whatever home. I answered it all. I thought about every conversation I ever had with a client, as a mortgage professional, as a realtor, as a celebrity realtor on NBC, working for Sotheby's, Century 21, or for Keller Williams, or for Caldwell Banker. I've been around this industry. And I answer the questions in this book. I, I go to every five step to buying a home from post-closing strategies, how do I pick my realtor, how do I know how to find my house, how I know it's a good, oh, it's all right here. You can get this book today, here, or online, whatever, or don't get it, that's fine, but the information is right here. This should be on your coffee table, forever. 20 bucks, 20 purchase, right here, autographed copy. My point is not to promote the book though. I'm just saying the information's here. That's all. The information that you want as far as buying a home is right here. It's that I've read this myself. It takes about two hours and 15 minutes to read this whole book. And you'll know all you need to know, or at least 90 plus percent of what you need to know about buying your own home. Now, the how-to and what's in there, but I want to give you some tips. One, one thing we talk about in the book is where you find out where you start is with a pre-qualification or pre-approval. This is like going to a doctor and getting a physical, but it's a financial physical. And what this does, you go to a mortgage company, or mortgage banker, or credit union, or bank, you ask to get pre-qualified or pre-approved for a home, and they'll let you know how financeable you are, and, and, at, and at what rate, and how much money. Some of you say, well, man, I don't know, man. I ain't, I ain't got this, I ain't got that, my credit, this, that. If you don't go find out this process right here, you'll never know where to start. You'll never know where to fix what's wrong because you aren't knowledgeable enough because you don't qualify loans. I had clients say, oh man, I don't make enough to buy no house or I ain't got enough to put down because they thought they needed some massive amount to put down or they thought they needed a credit to be a 680, but they got financed for a home with a 587 credit score. You don't know what you need. You're not the expert. The first step I talk about in the book is fighting your fear, because all that's fear. All that's excuses, but you don't have to go do something that's new to you that you just do, ah, oh, man. Because half the reason you don't want to, why you don't own a home or don't want to buy a home is because you don't want responsibility. So it's like, ah, oh, man, what happened if the, if the roof leaks? I got to fix it? Yeah, you got you to fix the roof, it leaks. Yeah. Or you can continue to rent. Oh, no, now you threw it away. All right, pretend we had this board up again, right? The old one. So we got the house here, the four units, and we got all those benefits. So when you're renting, you're busting your butt all week, every week, all month, paying your rent. You gotta look at it this way, look at it competitively. You don't wanna be no sucker, right? So you're paying your rent, and now you're transferring your wealth, your hard-earned money, over to somebody else's family to give their family tax advantages off your back, to give their family generational wealth off your back, to give their family equity and appreciation off your back. They clapping for you, they rooting for you at work. Go to work, go, work some overtime. They rooting for you because they're getting power and control off your back. They own the air rights off your back. Off you, you. Facts only. So I want you to look at it that way. You just working to go get somebody else's family richer, and you be going to get your own family richer. Why not do that? So pre-qualification. We talked about low down payments, three percent down. Most banks do three percent to three and a half percent down. That's just three grand. 
for every 100,000. Oh, excuse me. I'm tripping. I'm, oh, I'm about to do a million, my bad. I'm on the wrong numbers right now. Also, multiple co-borrowers, something that's very underutilized or talked about. You could have not just one, but two, but three, but four, but five people on one loan. So if you don't make enough, you're making 15 grand at Walmart, but your cousin making 15 grand over at Burger King, gonna make 30 grand together, go get a crib. But you'll laugh and sit back and laugh as somebody else in another community for piling and piling in the house. Oh, look at them all piling in the house. Yeah, but they own it. They own it. They build a family wealth. You want gratification right now. They worry about the next chess move. You playing checkers, they playing chess. They woke, you not. Outside of multiple code borrowers. And mind you, it's all chess moves. All right, yeah, I really don't want to live with you, auntie. I really don't want to live with you. But instead of you renting and me renting, let's go get this crib real quick. Stay out my way. <laughs> Give about a little 18 months, two years. I ain't never heard no fire engines. I've been in New York and I ain't never heard no fire engines that loud. Now, part of the reason why we teach on the corner, obviously, I thought of this idea two years ago. It was because I thought it would be cool to pull up in different neighborhoods, pull out a whiteboard and start teaching. I thought it'd be different. And I come off the corner. But also what I like about it is, and what I don't mind, is I want to show you guys how committed I am to you all. So maybe that sparks a little something to you that damn, he could be that committed, or he could be anywhere in the world right now, but he could come to my hood, my community, and stand in the sun and go teach for free? No charge? Maybe it's some, some value in what he's saying. Maybe he really wants us to have this message. So I don't want you to have it. We need to have this. If we don't do something different financially, we, it's, a, it's a critical time in history right now. And without some land, some power, some economic control, we're going to get mopped. Very important that we buy into this. So outside of multiple co borrowers, you have, what's my other one? What's called future, rental, income credit. It's one of the, one of the well underutilized strategies of buying your own home. See what it means is, and it may not apply here so much, but when you're buying a multifamily, anything two to four units, and you live in one side and you rent the other ones out, the bank will give you a percentage credit. Say you rent these out for a thousand a month. So that's 3,000 a month, 36,000 a year. Now this house might be 400 grand or 200 grand or 300 grand. You might be able to afford that by yourself. What the banks will say is, all right, we'll give you a 70% credit to qualify you of the future value of the rent you'll be receiving one day. So that's $25,000 and $200 in this case. So now if you're making $30,000 a year, the bank's not going to qualify you just on making $30,000 $30, a year. They're going to qualify you on making $55,000 a year based on the future money you will be receiving. So now you can qualify for more house based on your future rental income credit. One to four units, owner occupied. Oh, then lastly, these are just some tips. They're in the book. We need some tips you can walk away with today and just have. Some jewels, some gems. Section eight, government vouchers, disability. Section eight, government vouchers, disability, all can be used to qualify for a mortgage. Section eight is not a rental program, it's a housing program. So now you can take your, your auntie on section eight, y'all go cold bars on the crib, you put your 15,000 up, use a future rent from the other units, and now go qualify for more property. So your family's not continuing to pay rent to get somebody else's family richer, wealthier, more power, more control, more tax advantages. 
and more cash flow. So these are some tips on how to. Things you can do to walk away from this street lecture, this corner class today. For all those who want to continue to learn what we're teaching, we have our online school. You guys can call our team when you leave here. 1-844-JOIN-JMA. Our team will do a free financial game plan which you go over your whole situation and tell you what classes or courses are best for you. Simple as that. Or you can go, if you already know and did your research, go to our website, www.jmorrisonacademy.com. And we have several online courses that's dope. It's not just courses. I don't mean just videos. It's a mentorship program. We do weekly calls every Wednesday with all our students. Been doing these calls for four years, haven't missed one call. One, haven't missed one call in four years. It's not just me, it's my other partners, instructors, it's Wills, Roberta, but this allows you to have weekly mentorship with lessons on how to become a real estate entrepreneur or business owner. We have credit mastery courses, stocks and finance courses, residential real estate courses, commercial real estate courses, business mastery courses, and even self-development, self-mastery courses. Y'all can call a number or go to the site, but if you don't increase your knowledge base, you will be stuck, I promise you. Or if you do increase your knowledge base, I promise you, your options will increase. I'm telling you, it just works. So this is another option. And then we also do one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself and my associate coaches, depending on, we have a three-month one-on-one coaching program and we have a 12-month. You guys can call this number, visit the website, and schedule an appointment. The three-month allows me to go over your personal situation myself and, and dissect your situation and make and give you a blueprint and a game plan. These courses, all, these coaching programs also include the courses. And our 12 month allows you to have a personal partnership relationship with me, where you have my personal cell phone, personal email. I'll look at your whole chessboard. I did a coaching call from the airport on the way over here with one of my students in Boston, doing very well for himself, ma making 30 grand a month, looking to scale his business to the next level. Some clients are, Baseline, they got some assets, some IRAs, some pension, some savings. They want to figure out, Jay, I don't want to mess it up. I just got some lawsuit money. I just inherited some money. I got some equity in my home. I don't want to mess it up. I can learn online, but that ain't my best thing. I need some personal one-on-one -on -one guidance. We offer that as well. You go to the same course or website and call my team. They can explain to you, break it down. Or you can see Josh or Will, somebody here today. Lastly, I just want to give you guys uh, the website for our fund, our real estate fund just launched, www. TulsaRealEstateFund.com. That's Tulsa, T U L S A, RealEstateFund.com. This is the first ever 100% black owned and black operated real estate crowdfund that's on a mission to buy back the block, stop gentrification. The cool part about the fund is it's, it's an opportunity for us to be able, not for you guys to invest together, because my goal is to be able to finance deals throughout the country. I don't want to do all the development, I ain't got the time. I want to use this as a vehicle for us to identify hotels, farmland, blocks of houses, and development opportunities that we all like. We all put up money together, as little as $500. You can invest for as little as $500, and not just be an investor, but be a partner and equity owner. I Meaning you own a piece of the pie. And the maximum investment, I'm sorry to tell you, the max is five mil 50 million. So you can't go invest 51 mil, no. But this allows us to invest together, everybody as partners, you get an 8% preferred return on your investment and your prorated share of 50% of the profits. And all the details are TulsaRealEstateFund.com and that'll be going live soon. But I'm all about solutions, that's my thing. I love business, I'm excited about business, I love how I've grown in business, I continue to grow in business. I love teaching, I love pouring into people. And so these are the ways in which you guys can leave here with action steps, things you can do outside of being pumped up by the Jay Morrison story. Corner class!